stay back! You stay the fuck back or I'll laser you, goddammit! I'll laser every fucking one of you! Stay back! Let's go! Die with them. Hey, hey, what is wrong? Hey, is back again, back again. <laughs> oh wow, he is crazy. I tell you, what's going on? We've got third party figures getting made that are like just as good as hot toys, but cheaper because they're not licensed. That's cool. Uh, what else we got? Oh, massive venoms being made that are made up from a from a game. So yeah, Hot Toys have got their finger in the market there. <laughs> Very smart because gaming is huge. So yeah, make a lot of figures for gaming. You can't go wrong, Hot Toys, <laughs> and you know that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, getting look. I just want to. That's really strange, you know. I just want to show you that. This bag, I've never seen a company put a print of their logo on an outer bag. That is like, is there any co extra cost in that? But yeah, I don't know, maybe it's not important. Maybe it's good for them. Uh, so the company is, and I don't have one of these. Uh, this is my first, Sue Sue or So So Toys. This is uh, John Landers. Uh, as S, so I think you can copy the name, but you can't copy the movie. I'm not too sure about how it works, but SST number 26 one six collectible figure. Wow, I like the car, I like the, I like the boxes. Look, I'm not right into the boxes, but yeah, I'll give you a close up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you got all the, the warning writing on the back there, nothing special, very boring. Okay, and it's my favorite. Shoebox style. <laughs> I hate sliders, I really do. So, opening it up, you get the. All oh right, you get the. Okay, the airborne version with the laser eyes. Uh, oh, uh, psycho John Lanters. <laughs> yeah, you know. So this is just like a little sleeve tuck in. Wow, this is just like honestly opening it. The, oh, look, there's a lot of stuff in there. I thought when I grabbed it, I thought, "Geez, that's really heavy for a for a cheap knockoff." You know, everyone thinks cheap knockoff. You know, the black foam, shove the figure in, piss it off out, and uh, and make a quick buck out of it. No, 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 no. This is different. This is different. This is like unboxing a Hot Toys figure. Look at that. Look at the clamshell organization there. Everything packed in. They've got, got the, um, the, the mini clamshell with all the, the accessories at the front there. God knows what's going in there because it's well, well bubbled and well protected. I'm not sure if you can get a... I'm just going to show you that. That's just quality. So. Cheaper on the buck, quality figure. So, I've had some um, YouTubers bagging this, uh, honestly bagging it before they even have it in their hand, you know. And I, I'm just like, I, I commented on a couple of their channels, uh, one, well, one in particular, saying uh, I've ordered it, um, can't wait to have it in hand, have it in hand to judge it. So yeah. These, you know, some of these channels, these streaming guys, I tell you what, talk a lot of shit. And then, you know, are they real collectors? Are they real collectors? Well, bit of a joke, really. Well, I don't mind saying it. I'm from the day when, um, when uh, doing third party figures was uh, a big no no. <laughs> A lot of them were getting like made copied from some artist one six figure customizer, and then the company would come along and just copied their figure and just made the money out of it. And I, 
I do know one company. I won't say their name because I I got bagged big time for, for um, doing a video off the uh, off the copy of the the artist figure. Wow! So first up, it just it just honestly it just has that presentation of uh, being Hot Toys. It has that smell about it. It's got the moisture bags, just like Hot Toys. Everything's the same. Got something in the back here. All right, the cape. It's one of those pull through slip. Just I'm gonna take the bag out anyway. Okay, wow. So we got wow. Got three heads. We've got a pretty cool bloody base there. We've got something floating around here. I don't know where that's come from, but there is like an extra gauntlet and a hand floating Have you around. Put it on, or was it an extra? So I'll just show you this. The clamshell is presenting that, but then. There's an extra in here, so don't know what's going on there, but I'll work it out later on. Maybe it was thrown in just for for so so be nice. One of those bendy um Oh there's your weight. <laughs> Alright, I just found it. It's a torso where you can put the extra head in there and yeah, so that's gonna be unbubbled. And then you get another torso <laughs> to support both the heads. Very cool. That's where the weight was coming from. Can't wait to get them out the bubble wrap. I've got some heads, two extra heads. I'm pulling out the figure now. I just want to draw the cape through. There we got. Uh, we only have a single wire going on. It's a, it's a fairly thick wire, but yeah, uh, it's not much of a display fanning out. It's just a look. It's just a hang down by the side cake. That's what I call it. Right, we've got the another head on top of there. We're missing. Right, I see what's going on. We're missing a hand. So it's come off his. It's come off his arm. That's what the extra is. Rightio. I like when these bags that can be removed as easy as that without any hassle. Bang, just put it off his heart arm there. That's very impressive to me. I'm just noticing. Right, okay, that's all good. The peg's in the wrist and everything's cool. So the feel is straight up the hands are quite hard. They're, hard, they're a harder plastic. So interesting. They're not the rubbery sort of soft hands that Hot Toys make. That's all right. Now I'm gonna remove the plastic right bag from his head. I'm just gonna tell you straight up now, this is an impressive, impressive head sculpt. Love the gr the hair lining, the hair sculpting. Very impressive. Oh, very impressive. And if you're not happy with that, you can get two other head sculpts that you can try if that makes you happy. But I like this serious one. I like this. I like it a lot. The, the body feel, it feels like it's padded. It's like a soft padding up to the leg point. So it's like he's wearing the costume that gives him that muscular build. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like he's wearing the actual, but the biceps are hard. But the torso is very soft and it makes me think, I want to get straight to the point here guys, good crunch man, oh you, that, that is smart thinking, 
rubbery silicon under uh, padding here not going to affect the posability of the crunch wow spot on spot on i like the look of it straight up i'm going to quick compare on the next um as soon as i um do the next take quickly the base is after that so impressed with two torsos the base is incredibly cool there's your clamp to go onto the rod the rod i believe is blue to match this guy's outfit whoa it is blowing my mind so we'll move straight on to the figure quickly show you the posability it's like very clever it's very clever feels like i'm unboxing a hot toy figure so that's really cool okay and there's <coughs> batteries three batteries and i'm guessing that's for the light up eyes i'll work that there out there you have it wow quickly unboxed it not a lot of bullshit it's just um you know some hands to play around with and um what else was it? i love the milk bottle so glad the milk bottle was included <laughs> if you haven't watched the show i'm not telling you anything about the milk bottle okay right <laughs> let's do it i think i'll get henry can build down here because i believe henry's a little bit tall he's a licensed hot toys pro uh, product so i'll bring him down here he's at Cavill's a little bit taller than the, the, the kiwi fella uh tony is it tony Anthony, Anthony Starr, New Zealander, yeah, very cool, next door neighbour to Australia, I like it, I thought I would have got a Russell first, but no, no I haven't got a Russell, so I've got Anthony, <laughs> there you go, rightio, okay, I'm going to quickly, we'll get Cavill down and, yeah, compare sizes. Okay, quick video, just uh, compare sizes of um, Men of Steel to, um, Anthony, well, Cavill, just a quick video, Cavill, Anthony Starr, um, height comparisons, definitely is, uh, Cavill is taller, way taller, he's probably a half a head taller, so what does that measure out to, I'm not too sure, does that compare to, this is a actor that's 5 foot 10, and this is an actor that's 6 foot 1, so, I'm not sure if half a head sort of measured up measures up to the, uh, the what the difference is on that measurement. <laughs> I couldn't really tell you. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you quickly. Let's move on to the accessories and all that. Put it on the turntable and show you guys what we've got. Okay, I told a little bit of a lie. Uh, it was a uh, it's a black um, posable. Um, stand bar whatever you want to call it adjustable bar it's uh yeah i don't really like these they're good for flight poses but i don't like using them in general so these are um your standard just like hot doors make beautiful base very nice base i like this i like this a lot actually it's it's really really nice there you go the thing I really like about these these uh, this so so or susu toys is this this beautiful. Uh, some people might think it's a bit overdone. Was it necessary? You paint that up the same as the actual costume. I reckon that look bloody impressive. So these will be going in my display to show both heads. I've already shown you this one. This is like the glare, a pissed off. This is a pissed off glare. This is him trying to decipher how he's going to destroy you that's what the sort of look uh, represents here we have a uh, more of a pleasant cocky smile i suppose you'd say that's when he's just killed you or, or done something to you that makes him happy or he's about to get fed his milk bottle <laughs> there you go. I, I, I think the detail is brilliant the uh, the hair sculpting is is amazing. These torsos blow my mind. They are so heavy. That's where your weight was, man. 
that's where your weight was. But yeah, I like him. Wow. A couple of open hands. A couple of flight, I suppose, flight hands. Two fists. Now, the extra peg was in the uh, head of the smiling um, sculpt. I had to pull it out because the torsos came with the connecting pegs. So, extra neck peg, I suppose you'd say. Uh, relaxed hand. Uh, the other relaxed hand is on him. I've actually swapped the hands out already. You've got a pointing finger. Two connecting shoulder, guard, uh, shoulder guards. And then you have the... And then you have the thumbs up hand. So glad they've included... <clears throat> now of course the piece of resistance, the baby's bottle. <laughs> so I'm so glad that was included. Battery operated head sculpt. And to me, look, that's fine as well. I, I think that all the head sculpts are fine. So what with this one, you just basically take the head off. This is connected to a peg, a black peg, which is part of the mold that supports the batteries. Uh, it's a simple process of uns unscrewing the top, then removing the top cap and pressing in the three batteries to have a switch at the front here. Back to your switch. You also have the lights on the same side. Are we getting that? No, we're not getting that. Got a bit of a faulty, faulty wire, wire there. But now we have both. I'm not going to use this, but look, for the sake of the video, I'm showing you. So we, we'll, before the light flickers back out again. Okay, I must apologize. I it was my fault the light was dicky because I hadn't screwed the screw completely in. So uh um, apologies. It's nothing to do with so so. So yeah we have the the sculpt as you can see like a bloodshot white eyes which I reckon are terrifying as well. And then if you, you apply the, the lighting effect And then you get this beautiful glow. So they've done everything here. Correct. So switch at the front, like I said before. Re switch it off. I'll be removing these batteries. I don't mind the head like this. So put that back on to John Landers. Quick uh, drop back. Posability. Let's, let's check it out quickly. I'm not a real big thing for posing, so I've got him into the uh, full lock here. It's single joint. Wrists have got perfect, um, well, tell a lie, there's a... Yeah, everything seems fine with the body. Uh, the, the, the hips are quite wide because of the padding inside, but I don't think it's, um, it's hindered the, the body in any way. I'd actually like the body. It's uh, pretty much how it was in the show, so the cape is... Uh, Connected by stitching, like I said, had uh, it has single wires down the side. Just the, oh yeah, and sorry across the bottom as well, so you can scrunch it up any way you want. So there you have it. Um, the belt's not fixed, so you can adjust it to wherever you want to sit it. I suppose. To, I suppose that's a good spot there. At the feel of the figure, it, it feels great. It, um, it's posing well. It's uh, the boots don't have the split articulation. It's a fixed boot. You're going to have problems straight up posing. This it is rigid. This is probably their failure in this section. They should have just split it with an overlay. Uh, they would you wouldn't even noticed 
the uh, split so but do I do like the presentation I do like the presentation so pretty much a museum pose for me for this figure I don't like using those support bars I'll be just having him standing if I can on here and he's he's standing really well okay the only thing I didn't cover is the uh, the shoulder connecting um, guards or whatever you want to call them really well uh, yeah it might be a problem with it there's plenty of magnet there to just to join onto the shoulders so yeah all, all around I'm really happy with so so uh, what else have we got? I've got something else coming from them. Ooh, yes. I've got the Witcher waiting. I'm, I'm waiting for the Witcher and something else. Hmm. It's off my mind. I can't remember. So anyway, it doesn't matter. So, there we go. Thumbs up. Uh, cape off to the side a bit. Slightly, uh, and in the back hand there, he's hiding his baby breasts milk well I'm not going to do a spoiler for that but uh, if you haven't seen it watch it <laughs> uh, there you go great great figure really like it like the shape it's got that somewhat definition in the chest of the torso area it's like a silicone or something I, I couldn't really tell you but it, uh, it's very flexible uh, the shape looks great his thighs look good the, the two torsos, brilliant. Uh, I get to see all three head sculpts on display. I, even, I forgot, completely forgot about those. The um, cape is like a bit of a rubber material. Uh, the rest of it's solid resin, I'd say. But yeah, there's your hands, extra pig. All around good figure. I'm going to put in my cabinet now, which I've been working on. I'm, my whole studio is upside down, but I have just finished the cabinet of the, the psychos. <laughs> so he's going in there for sure. Oh yeah, he's going in there for sure. Well done, so so. Keep it up. Catch up.